Hello Internet, today we're going to be taking a look at making symbolic links in Command Prompt. Um, I've already done a video on how to do this in PowerShell, so if you want to see that, uh, there will be a link somewhere, somewhere. Um, so you, you can go check that out. But this is going to be focusing specifically on Command Prompt, and they are different. Uh, so the, the style you would use for PowerShell is not the same as you'd use for Command Prompt, and they, they're not intercompatible. Um, so Symbolic links allow you to create references to other things on your file system. They don't need to be located in the same directory. In my examples, they are going to be just because that's simpler and easier to see. Uh, but we can link anything anywhere on our file system. It doesn't even need to be on the same drive. You can, you can do whatever you want. Um, but this is handy because it makes it possible to create a reference to something that may be fairly large without actually creating or, or like copying that exact file. Um, so maybe you have multiple gigabytes of a video and you want it here and here for some reason, or you have a, a program that should exist here and here, things like that. You can actually use a symbolic link to have one of them be a reference to the other. And that way, when one changes, they both change. And if you need to copy it or do anything like that, you're not actually creating all of that extra file space needed or, or consuming all of that extra file space needed that you, you just don't need to use. Um, so it's just sort of a productivity kind of hack ish thing that, that that's not a good description. But anyway, we're going to be working in command prompt because that's what this video is about. Uh, this only works in an admin command prompt for whatever reason on Windows, whether you're in PowerShell or in a command prompt, you need to be running in as an admin in order to create symbolic links. Um, so in command prompt, you use the make link function. Uh, so this, I don't know if it's called a function. Anyway, you use the make link function. Uh, I have the documentation pulled up, but what we need to do is give it a link, which is actually going to be the file that is actually going to represent the link. And then we're going to give it a target. So where the link is pointing. Um, so, so effectively, if we wanted to make a link to this hello world.txt file, we would do our test.txt is going to link to hello world.txt. And so this is going to create a link. This will work for files, but with make link, it's actually different if you're trying to link to directories. So we'll get to that after this. Uh, so for this, you'll see a symbolic link was created linking these two things. And we should see it pop up here, but it didn't. So I'm confused. Oh, we're in the wrong spot. <laughs> um, so I have, I have linked to something. We didn't get any errors. And I guess this is probably a good thing, but we're actually in the wrong directory. This isn't where we want to be. Um, so I'm in my user directory and I just created a link to a file that doesn't exist. Uh, this is a thing that can happen and it's just something to be aware of. The links are just links. They're just pointing to things. They're saying this thing is actually this thing. Uh, but that, that thing that you're pointing to can stop existing or not exist. And so this is what happens. Uh, let's actually get over to our CD videos uh, recorded and get heat. That didn't work. Okay. I'm, I'm doing the wrong things. There we go. All right. So we, we changed our directories. Perfect. Uh, I, I was using PowerShell aliases for bash commands because uh, that's just that's just what I do. Uh, and so that didn't that definitely didn't work, but we can actually just rerun this command and actually get what we expect. I'll clean up that other file later. Um, so if we do this now, we have a test.txt. You'll see that this is represented as a link. You can see that it's a it's a link here uh, and that file actually doesn't have any any bytes. Uh, my camera's coming in covering it up, but the file is actually zero bytes doesn't have anything. It's noted as a type sim link. Um, and so no matter how big we make this, that file is still going to be zero bytes uh, because it's just saying go here. Um, and so this is kind of one of those handy examples. If we open this in notepad, we'll see there's still stuff there. We still opened our file. It still works. It just doesn't have anything in it because it's just linking to some other thing. Um, so that is sort of how that works. If we want to do this for a directory, we need to provide the slash D command. Um, so make link slash D is going to do this for a directory. If I don't provide that, let's link to say our rendered videos. So this is going to create a uh, test directory, let's say, 
that is going to link to our rendered videos. If we do that, we're going to get this empty file and it's going to be very confused because that doesn't make any sense because we just created a file that links to a directory. Um, in other uh, instances like PowerShell, this is already handled for you, so you don't need to really worry about this. But in uh, command prompt, you do. So instead of that, we're going to remove our existing links and we're going to add this slash D command. And so if we run it with slash D, that's actually going to create this link to our rendered videos. Uh, and so again, it's it's just a link. This is all of the rendered videos from this channel. Uh, not all of them. I'm missing a bunch, but, but uh, you kind of get the idea, right? The folders are the same, they're the, they're the exact same thing. We didn't lose anything by doing this. The only advantage is that now we have this in two different places. I could move this around. I can put this wherever I want and it's still going to reference that same spot. Uh, and that's kind of handy for for making things simple. So if you have some something you need in multiple places and you don't just want to copy and paste it everywhere, this gives you a way to do that without well, well preserving your hard drive space. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this is something you can use and something you enjoy. And if you do, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I, I really appreciate it. Um, but that's it for now. So until next time, see you internet.